What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another Ultimate Training Guide. We're running out of road, lads. We're running out of road. We've got two left. Ambrosini, we've covered Cafu, Cannavaro, Inzaghi, and Zamorano. So if you've missed those, go back and check them out or check them out after this video. They're short and sweet videos and they cover everything. A complete breakdown of the player's stats, his role in the squad, and different tactics and formations that you can use him with, right? So we have got Ambrosini. And look, Les, I'm going to be a bit controversial here. I think he's an absolute unit and a beast and a demon and whatever word you want to call him, right? Straight off the rip, unwavering form. He's going to be stuck on B rating. He's got man marking, interception, blocker, sliding tackle, fighting spirit, weighted pass, low lofted pass and heading. He's got a nice height to weight distribution, which means that he'll kind of like go around the pitch fairly decently with a bit of weight to him and be able to be sturdy and knock lads around the place. And I do like the fact that he can also play CMF as an anchorman, right? So that is a big thing. If you are going to be playing this guy as a complete dominant DMF anchorman sitting in the pocket, then I, de I definitely think that, you know, you will find a version of him that's going to be all about, you know, kind of like breaking up play and being able to disrupt play. That's kind of where you want to go with him, right? You don't really want to be turning this guy into a box-to-box -box kind of covering every blade of grass type of player, right? But he does have a lot going for him, and I didn't think he was going to be as good as this until I actually went in and started to look at him, right? So we're going to go over and we're going to take a look firstly at a complete dominant defensive juggernaut in the middle of the pitch, right? We've already talked about the player skills that he has. We now are looking at his stats, okay? As an anchorman, if you're playing in a double pivot of a DMF and a CMF, and they're both playing kind of central to each other, you're using your DMF as an anchorman, true and, you know, true and tested anchorman that's going to be first and foremost, dropping back when you are in possession, not going forward and dropping back, sorry, as I said, uh, or as I meant to say, dropping back when you don't have possession and, you know, not going forward or not pushing forward when you do have possession, right? That he's just an anchor there. You know where he's going to be on the pitch at all times and blocking the passing lanes. So this version of him, we've just pumped 16 into defending and then we've also brought up his, de his dexterity and his lower body strength a little bit. We're going to have a 75 acceleration uh, stat there. We're also going to have 75 on low pass. And we are going to have 90 stamina with 90 defensive awareness, aggression, and 96 defensive engagement. We also have our tackling over 86, which is huge for a DMF, um, a DMF anchorman that is as mobile as this. And he's also got 88 jump and 84 physical contact. I actually really like this card. Now, if you are looking for a more complete version of him, this might be up your alley, right? So defensive awareness, tackling, aggression, and defensive engagement are all over 80. Defensive engagement are... Yeah, sorry, defensive engagement is over 90 with awareness and aggression over 85, which is big. But we've turned this guy into more of a complete player. We've pumped up a lot into dribbling and into passing to get that tight possession and ball control up past the 70 and 75 mark, respectively. And the low pass and loft the pass are over 80. We then have jump and physical contact over 80, 90 stamina as standard. And we also have his offensive awareness a little bit higher with his acceleration as well. So we still have 11 into defending. Um... I think his defensive stats are good here. Obviously, you're not going to get him as high as somebody like the likes of Rodri or Declan Rice or, you know, Makaleli or somebody like that. That's going to be the, the next tier up from this. But I do think that he is a monster with the player skills that he has, the player ID that he has, and he's definitely worth a punt. So let me know what you guys think um, and what you lads are, are looking for in a DMF. Because I do think that if you are going to be playing this guy, you need to be very confident on the ball. You need to play a little bit of possession. This is this guy is going to be playing more quick counter, a uh, one touch pass, um, where you're just you know you know you're going to be very aggressive getting the ball back with an anchorman, right? An anchorman having this high aggression is going to mean that he will get back on the fence very, very, very. Uh, consistently and as well as with the stamina he's going to be able to know that he can run make more runs than normal right you bring him on um into your team and just sit him in the pocket and put defensive on him and put maybe deep line on him or else put man marking uh, your opponent's center forward he's going to stick to glue stick to your opponent's striker like glue or your amf like glue i love when i'm playing somebody that has an amf because i just put my dmf man mark him that amf and he will just follow him in centrally and then when i'm defending and he's not centrally i can just manually go and shift across from left to right and sweep across the pitch so it does take a little bit of concentration to play with a player like this um but i do think that he is a monster so that is it for me lads i will talk to you guys later peace